our person of the week. 35 years ago today, the Vietnam War ended. And back in 1975, as the U.S. and South Vietnam braced for defeat and the North to overtake the country, one brave American woman came to be known as the Angel of Saigon. And hundreds of grateful American families still call her that today. I walked into the nursery and I saw babies in rusty cribs. The diapers were rags with no uh, bedding. I couldn't go back to being the swinging single that I was. I had to help these children. It was spring 1975. The fall of Saigon was imminent. Who would escape ahead of the fierce communist takeover? One American woman was desperate at least to save some children. Betty Tisdale had spent years raising funds and volunteering for the Unlock Orphanage, which had hundreds of orphans. I knew I had to go over and, and uh, bring those children back. I had no idea how to do it, what to do, where I was going to put them. I had to find planes. I had to find a place for them. I had to find parents for them. At first, the South Vietnamese government banned children from leaving. Then, as the Viet Cong drew closer to Saigon, the South Vietnamese government relented permitting children under the age of 10 to leave if they had birth certificates. You know, babies are, you find them at the gates of the orphanage without papers. So we went and got blank birth certificates and filled them all in. Where would she bring all these children once in the U.S.? Betty picked up the phone and called the Secretary of the Army. He didn't return my call, so I called his mother. She said, uh, I'll do the best I can. The Defense Department ended up giving her a school building at Fort Benning, Georgia, as a temporary home for the kids. Betty also got the American Air Force to give her room on their planes. And so, the exodus of 219 orphans from Unlock began. What future do you see for the children who are going out today? The brightness of the future in America. They have everything at their fingertips. All they need to do is, is take it. Here they are arriving, their first minutes in America. And over the next month, Betty found American families to adopt every single baby. Babies like Adam, Vicki, Elizabeth, and Dan. She placed all 219 children within 30 days. And I think few people can say, you know, what an impact some one person has had in so many lives. I mean, she's given us such a gift. Her orphans became doctors, businessmen, writers, bankers, now raising families of their own. She embraced all of us as we were her children. We were all her children. And so we choose Betty Tisdale, who adopted five orphans of her own. She's 87 years old now and still traveling to orphanages around the world.